What's great about the seaside is the diversity of species. I'm here with sorrel, prolifically found in many a meadow, up and down the land, Rumex, Acetosa, and here by the seaside, no exception. Anywhere that two ecosystems meet, such as the the coastline here, the land meeting the sea, even river edges inland, anywhere where two distinct ecosystems meet, you will always find heightened biodiversity. So these are exceptional places to forage if you can get to them. And just within a few metres before stumbling across sorrel, I'd found three of the plantains. We've got sea beet here, a sea radish knocking around, sea carrot, yarrow, lots of daisies and dandelions. I've only walked about 50 metres. So I'm here with sorrel as I say. Quite distinctive leaf shape, sorrel. As I hope you can tell from this leaf I'm focusing in on. Has pointed lobes at the base. What's known as a sagittate leaf. We've come across that one before. Lords and Ladies has a sagittate leaf. And uh, a word of warning, I have a seven-year-old friend of mine who's at Lords and Ladies thinking he was eating sorrel. Generally, Lords and Ladies, woodland edge plant, won't encroach that far into a meadow. So to be absolutely sure, get well into the, into the sunlight, get well into a meadow. And any sagittate leaf you find there really should just belong to sorrel. Obviously, the taste is completely different. Sorrel with that distinctive lemony citrus taste through the presence of oxalic acid and uh, lords and ladies has calcium oxalate skin piercing crystals so if you did put one of those in your mouth you'd soon know about it so another abundant leaf and i've already found a fantastic salad here by the sea in about five minutes <laughs> 